In these next few videos, we're going to take a look at the Kaha File Manager. To get into the File Manager, I can double click on one of these two icons on the desktop, or I can go down to Menu, System Tools, Kaha. These both bring up the same window. I'm going to close one of them. The first thing I want to know is what are the different parts of the window called? To learn that, I'm going up into View, and in this second section here, we've got the main toolbar. If I click to uncheck that, we see the main toolbar disappear. Turning that back on, we see this is our main toolbar. The next thing is the side pane. That's this part on the left. Including the Places drop-down and the X. Next, we have Location Bar. That is the bar right here above the View pane. And we cannot hide the View pane because that is all the files that we're trying to manage. Back under View, at the bottom, we've got this Status Bar. And that shows us that we have eight items and the free space on our computer. In this view, we've got one more thing that's not checked. That's the extra pane. Turning that on brings up a second view pane and location bar. If I turn off the location bar now, it turns it off in both panes. I'll turn that back on and hide that extra pane. Now I'm going to close this window because I want to bring up the computer and the home. When we look along this main toolbar, we've got a, a little house or a home right next to a computer. If I click on the computer, we notice this is the same thing that we have in the computer shortcut. Clicking on the house or the home takes me to the home folder for the user logged in. So these two buttons on our main toolbar do the same things as these shortcut links on our desktop. Looking at the back and forward on the main toolbar, neither one of these is active. If I click on the home folder, we see that back is now active. If I click back, it takes us back to computer and now forward is active. I'll click forward and again, only back is active. From here, if I go to Desktop, Documents, and Pictures, we see back is active, and we can see we started in Computer, went to the Home file, then the Desktop, then the Documents, and now we're in the Pictures folder. If I go back, we can see in this drop-down, we can now go forward to pictures or back to the other three. If I close the file manager window and open it back up, we see that backward and forward are now cleared out. So we can't go backward and forward. That is only good while that window is open. If I look under go in our menu bar, down at the bottom here, we have a history. We've got the home file, document, pictures, desktop, computer, videos. If I go to a new file, it'll be put on the top. I'll click on download. And we see downloads is at the top. This holds up to 10 folders. Once it hits the 10th folder, it gets bumped off at the bottom. If I take something like documents and go back into that, documents will go to the top and these next two will be shifted down. And here we see it. Documents at the top, these two shifted down, and the rest of these did not change. If I close the file manager now and open it back up, we see that the history was not cleared out here. This is an ongoing history. To clear it, we need to click the Clear History. Yes, I will clear it. 
and it will always have one in there because we need to have the file manager open to click on clear history. Above the clear history we've got some folder shortcuts similar to what we have under the computer places. Above that we've got backwards and forward that's the same as on the main toolbar. Open parent that takes us up one file in the file structure. Right now we're in the home folder. If I go into documents, this is a folder within the home folder. So we're in documents and the parent is the home folder. I've added, added another folder here. This is a child of the documents, which is a child of the home folder. Clicking the arrow up takes us from the new folder, untitled folder, to documents. Clicking it up again takes us to the home folder. Going up to the parent folder is different than going back to the previous folder. The previous folder let us jump around. Going up takes us up one folder in the file structure. That's the same thing as we have here under Go. The last thing under Go is this same location as the other pane. We need to turn that pane on. And I will click onto the desktop. And we see the desktop is the white section. I will go up to Go, same location as the other pane. And it works either way. I'll go into Music on the right, clicking on the left. Now the left is the white or the active window. I want to make this the same as the gray window, so it takes us to music. I'm going to turn off the extra pane, go back to the home folder. On the main toolbar, we looked at all of these. This is just refresh, and this is to stop loading the current location. We might have something with a lot of folders and files on it that's taking a long time to load. I can click this button and cancel that. We've got here increase the size. We can go up to 400%, go down to 33%, or somewhere in between. The icon view, that shows us the icons. And if I shrink the window from the left, we've got two columns. Coming up, we start losing them, but if I come in, it reduces the columns. Now we've got one column, moving it to the right, two, there's three. Going down into list view. List view shows us the file name and then some attributes about that file. And we can change these. We'll look at that later on in the series. The last thing is compact view. And this is similar to icon view, but when the window gets smaller, now we go into rows instead of the columns like we did when we were in icon view. That and the name is on the side instead of underneath like icon view. This last one is search. We're going to save that for later in this topic. We're at a good breaking point. We'll pick up from here next time. If you like these videos, please tell a friend.